Hello, my name is Matthias. I welcome you here in the Yeah Yeah Studios in Hamburg. And I'm one of the recording engineers next to Dennis Rux, the founder of the studios he founded 10 years ago. Basically, the Yeah Yeah Studios are a complete analog sound and music studio. The console we are using in this case is a Polygram console from 1978 designed for the Whistlelot Studios in Netherlands. This desk is a typical split desk, so we have a complete um, recording channel design and a monitor channel design. So we have two desks included in one, like the modern inline consoles. And um, this design allows us perfect use for one side the analog tape recording machines and on the other side the DAW use. Many productions are produced in a complete analog way, like on 8-track tape machines or on 16-track tape, and are completely produced without connection to a DAW or the digital world. So all signals are processed uh, on an analog world, like uh, external compressors or reverbs like the EMT240 gold foil or the Beaks20 reverb spring. Nonetheless, there are many productions which need the help from the digital world. So uh, we need a connection to our DAW and that's the point where we need a conversion from analog to digital or the other way around. In the past, our converters were the weakest point in the signal flow. Because of the use of analog stuff and analog output gear using the complete 24 dBU range, our old converters with 18 dBUs were the weakest point. We had a loss of headroom in our signal. Now with the new M32 Pro, we have a complete signal range of 24 dBU. So we are capable and we have the chance now to use our preamps, for example, in a hot range. So we have no loose of dynamic range or of headroom when we work with uh, hot signals. One problem of the 18 dBU range we had in the past is when you want to use uh, the tape drive of an analog tape recorder and you're converting back your signals from digital to analog, you're not able to come to a signal range which causes tape saturation. My personal taste of a perfect converter for this studio is that it should be complete, transparent and invisible in the sound flow. So I just want to have my original analog signals of my outboard gear and no colorizing or influencing of my audio signal. The M32 Pro is providing us the best technical specs we need and provides us with the perfect signal to noise ratio. We are also creating our monitor mix for the musicians via the total mix. So we are able via the total mix to use for example, a lim output limiter in the digital world and um, create easier monitor mix for each musician over in the recording room. Because um, in the use of this analog desk, we all want to use our auxiliary ways for our output stuff for reverb and for delays, for example, and don't want to lose any aux channels for monitor mix. So we are using the total mix for, to create a perfect monitor situation for our musicians. For a longer period of time now, we are using the Total Mix remote app on our iPad. Now we are able to create a monitor mix directly next to our musicians. Um, we are connected via Wi Fi to our audio PC and uh, the Total Mix on our computer. So now we can create a monitor mix in the recording room, wearing, for example, our headphones from the singer, for example, and check what's going on when, for example, there's a problem with the monitor mix or he needs something louder and you don't want to believe it. So um, you can go next to the other room, check the signals or create it or yeah, improve the monitor mix. Otherwise, it's perfect um, to set up the recording setup. So you can just take the headphones on, unmute the channel, check the mic is there. You can do the line check alone, because on a digital studio it would be no problem, but on an analog studio you just have to walk back to the control room, listen and walk back to the recording room. Now you can use the iPad and check your signals by your own. One other user case of the Total Mix remote app is that on this sound desk we have no metering and in the input channels, we just have multi-track bus metering and uh, metering for our uh, mix bus. So um, 
when we're doing setup or a sound check and line check and there is already open the DAW and on the PC screen, we can't change all the time the windows between Total Mix and the DAW. So I use then the iPad to check my levels and my input levels of the microphone preamps and the mic inputs. So I just have a overview and a direct control of my levels.